All right, and this is the completed both eyes with the mascara. Welcome to my channel. Today we have some Fenty newness. And you guys know Fenty is always my favorite thing when it launches, my favorite thing to film, try out. And we have a bunch to try out today. There's two new snap shadow palettes. There's some lip balms, mascara, a new brow product. And I decided to do everything in one video, do kind of a first impression. And you guys can let me know what you wanna see in like an individual video with one product if you want it. But real quick, there are two mini mascaras and they're in green and burgundy which is the whole little eye thing everything's green and burgundy these are 14 dollars each and i'll show you guys what they look like they're so cute compared to the full size they're super tiny this one is called miss merlot merlot never pronounced that word but this is what the brush tip looks like and i'll try these mascaras on before i do my eyeshadow so you guys can see what the color looks like on my eyes and then there's ivy league which is the green mascara and i am feeling like i'm gonna get some good use out of this because green and burgundy are straight up my alley i think it really complements my eye color I don't know I have green eyes <laughs> and then we have three new pro kisser luscious lip balms if you guys don't know I did a whole video on their slip shine lipstick I am obsessed with kind of juicy balmy lip products at the moment and I have the original pro kisser lip balm and we have three new colors pinch me cocoa drizzle and latte lift i'll show you guys some swatches and i'm also going to be swatching these on my lips to show you guys and then we have this universal brow nvp wax and it is a lot more circular than the regular brow pencils a lot bigger and then this side has the wax and then on the other side is a cute little silicone brush on the normal brow mvps they're actual bristles like that and the stars of the show two new snap shadow little palettes which i am so excited they came out with more shades oh my gosh and of course burgundy and green uh hello so this is snap shadow palette number nine called wine and then here are the shades pop the cork bottle service cheese bubbly rose spritz point please sherry fairy <laughs> it's kind of hard to pronounce this one is my favorite i am so excited for this one this one is number 10 money and if you guys are curious about the other snap shadow palettes uh you can go and look in my all things Fenty playlist and I have all the other snap shadow palettes and I've done a few videos with them but this is money there's fat pockets need receipts time is money rubber bands direct deposit and flash money and I'm gonna be trying each of these out on my eyes and I have totally forgotten about the prices but the snap shadows are $25 each the brow wax is $20 and the lip balm is $18 each. So let's first go through these lip balms. Let's try out the shade Pinch Me. Love the packaging. So this is a packaging of the colored balm and the regular balm. So it's easy to tell the difference. Never opened before. Oh my goodness. Oof. I'm gonna zoom you guys in. This is definitely a My Lips But Better kind of a shade. Mm, 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 mm. And here we have Pinch Me. Next up is Latte Lips. This one seems to be a little bit more caramel. Ooh, yummy. That's a nice nude. And this is Latte Lips. And the last one is probably the one I am most excited for. Cocoa Drizzle. Oh yeah, look at that. Mm-mm-mm. Oh yeah. 
that's a good fall shade and that is coco drizzle and i'm gonna put all three next to each other on the camera so you guys can see what they all look like i think i'm just gonna leave this one on my lip but now that we're zoomed in right now i think i'm gonna test out the mascaras to show you guys the colors so we're gonna first try out ivy league oh wow this shows up way better than i thought it would i don't know why i thought it was not really gonna show up so there we have ivy league and then miss merlot can't pronounce that but the burgundy shade and then here is the green and the burgundy right next to each other i love how these shades look on my eyes mm. last thing to try out before we get into the eyeshadow is the brow mvp wax so it does say that you can use this before and after the brow pencil. So I'm gonna first start off, and or I should say, I'm gonna start off kind of just running the wax in kind of short like strokes, kind of like that I'm filling in my eyebrow. Oh man, you guys can see how bad my eyebrows are. And I'm gonna use the little spoolie to kind of brush them into place. My eyebrows are not the best looking right now, don't judge. And then I'm gonna use the Brow MVP in medium brown cause my roots are coming in and I need some darker eyebrow pencil. <laughs> I could really get down to using this. I feel like it definitely makes it easier right away to really see the sparse areas of your brows and to build up in certain spots all right and that's my one eyebrow with the brow wax and then the brow pencil and then i'm just gonna kind of brush through them one more time i actually really like how this looks and then on the other side i'm gonna do the brow pencil and then the wax and see if i notice a difference and then brushing through the pencil and this is my eyebrow with just the pencil in it now i'm gonna take the wax and i'm gonna just run it through my brow in literally the same way oh okay i kind of feel like it definitely took off some of that brow pencil so I definitely use this before I did my brow pencil, but I do really like the effect that this gives because it is like a flat surface. It gives you that kind of laminated eyebrow look, which I really wanted to try, but right when that started trending and I was ready to give it a try, quarantine happened so <laughs> so far love the mascaras i love the lip balm the brow wax i do need to play with it a bit more but first impressions i will say using it before the brow pencil works better for me so now let's get into using these eyeshadow palettes I'm gonna prime my eyes with the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer and we'll get right on into it. All right, eyes are primed and I'm ready to get into the Snap Shadow palette number nine. It's not as burgundy as I would really like it, but the two shades in the middle I really like. We're gonna see how many shades I can use. I'm gonna start off with this matte cream shade and I'm just gonna to set my brow bone with that shade seems to be pretty much my skin tone <laughs> and then i'm gonna take this brown shade at least it looks brown and i'm gonna blend this into my crease okay it is kind of like a mauvey brown and then i'm gonna take this deep plum kind of shade i'm gonna put this on my outer corner looks pretty promising then blending it into my crease and then going back in with that last shade and just blending 
the edges and then I'm going to do those same two shades on my lower lash line. Been a while since I gravitated towards some pur purple shades, but I'm liking how it's looking. All right, I'm gonna take the shade and the center, this bottle service, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. It does have a little bit of fallout, so I think I'm gonna wet it. I do like the shimmer shades in the Moroccan Spice better than the snap shadow palettes. I don't really know why that is, but the Moroccan Spice palette has a little bit better, you know, like a, it has a couple duochrome type shades. They're a little bit more unique versus the snap shadow palettes are all just regular shimmer shades and brush away that fallout there and then taking the light shimmer shade i'm gonna highlight my inner corner i'm also gonna kind of run it into i'm loving carrying my my inner corner highlight into kind of this area right here but that is the whole look with the number nine wine palette. And I'll probably put a little bit more mascara at the end of this. Let's get into this green palette. There's mostly shimmers in this palette, so we'll see how this goes. But I'm gonna take this kind of light green shade. I'm gonna try and do the same kind of look on the other side. This shade does have a lot of kickback but it has a lot of payoff this is a pretty bomb green and then i'm gonna take this brown shade in the palette and i'm gonna blend it under my lower lash line and i'm gonna put just a teensy bit in my outer corner because i kind of want it to mainly be green but i don't want it to get muddy and then i'm gonna take this dark green shade it is a shimmer but i'm gonna take it with a blending brush and i'm gonna put it on the outer corner right over where i put that brown i have blend it into the crease oh man oh i love green so much i'm gonna take the matte shade and just help blend that out a little bit. This shade right here, this in the center of my lid. Oh man, these they hit the nail on the head with these green shades. And then I'm gonna take the lightest green shimmer and put it on my inner corner. Oh man, this one might be my favorite. And then I'm gonna take the gold shade, highlight my inner corner. And then I'm gonna go off camera, touch up the mascara a little bit and finish up the rest of my look and I'll come back with my final thoughts on everything. All right, and this is the completed both eyes with the mascara, the brow wax, the eyeshadows, all of the newness from Fenty for I believe is fall, but you guys gotta let me know which eye you like better the burgundy eye or the green eye. And I don't really know which one I like better because I really like both of these. I'm a little bit more into this one, to be honest, but I also want to tell you guys, I use the fly liners and purple stuff matches really well with the number nine eyeshadow palette, if you guys are curious. And then I use Bank Tank on this eye and it matches really well on this eye. So if you're wanting some matching eyeliners with the palettes, those two are perfect. So the number nine palette, I wish it had a little bit more burgundy, a little bit richer. It's more neutral with a pop of this like kind of magenta and purple shade. While as this green palette, many is literally all green with just a pop of brown and gold. So I would have preferred something more like the number 10 palette for the number nine palette, 
just personal personal preference but i do like how both of the looks came out i'm super excited for these lip balms i absolutely love lip balms right now i don't know if it's just the heat or what it is wearing face masks all the time but my lips have been dry lately i don't know if it's if y'all are experiencing this too but having some lip balms on hand is really nice the mascaras i feel like the green is a little bit noticeable a little bit more noticeable on my eyelashes but i do like how both of these turned out on my eyelashes and i'm really excited to do a really cool look with these because i feel like doing an all green with bank tank and the green mascara like liner mascara whole look of green would look really pretty as well as a whole look of burgundy and then i'm excited to really embrace the kind of laminated eye tr eyebrow trend you using this eyebrow wax i was going to get the patrick ta eyebrow wax but it was sold out when i picked up the other stuff so i'm really excited that fenty came out with one came through but let me know what you're most excited about with this little Fenty launch that we have going on. It's not really a collection. It's kind of just a bunch of stuff here and there, but let me know what you're most excited for. Let me know which eye you liked better, but that is it for this video. If you guys want to see my last Fenty video, I believe it was all swatching the slip shine lipstick. If you want to check out that video, it'll be right over here for you guys. This video will be suggested to you by YouTube and my face will be right here. We click on it and subscribe to my channel.